<laughs> so here we are, we're wanting to do a video about the mindfulness of photography. And there's a gentleman over there with a power saw. Isn't that perfect? Doesn't change what we're wanting to talk about today though. another way that photography nurtures us not only from getting away from it all not only from submerging ourselves into the landscape but we're doing one last thing that also nurtures our souls very very much and that is we're creating Good morning everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. What a beautiful spot this is. The water's lapping, there's the lightest of breeze, and this is a beautiful, peaceful moment. And this is exactly one of the many different types of moments that I like to film in, and I like to photograph in. Today's video is about mindfulness in photography. The reason I chose this place and this spot is of course it's just delightfully, delightfully relaxing and I think one of the major reasons so many of us love to photograph is the opportunity to get out into nature. Now I'm having a bit of fun with this today, that's because that's my personality, but in no way do I want to take away from the, the seriousness and the positivity of us getting out and photographing. And I, I, would, I would care to venture that the healing powers of photography are perhaps far more than we realize. Firstly, a lot of the time and the majority, 99% of the time when I photograph, I'm going out on my own. I will sometimes have music and I'm in a position where I'm extremely focused. The importance uh, of photography as an opportunity to relax and be at one and be mindful, I think is completely underrated. When we photograph, we often do it on our own and we often do it outdoors in nature, whether it's the built environment, cities, streets, suburbs, or whether it's actually nature, whether you're photographing wildlife or landscapes. So when we photograph, we're on our own. We're away from the hustle and bustle and often we find ourselves going out into nature. And nature in itself has its own healing powers. Why is it that so many millions of people love to photograph? Why do so many millions of people love to photograph wildlife and landscapes? And it's because we get an opportunity to get out of the house out of the hustle and bustle and we get to lose ourselves. And there is nothing more important than being able to lose ourselves and to be able to return to nature every now and again. The water is lapping behind me and I have always gravitated to these sorts of scenes for my photography. I think a big part of my photography is about it being healing and relaxing. And it's often why so many of my images are free of people and free of cars. 
it's not to say people are bad and cars are bad but again if we want to heal and if we want to regenerate sometimes we just need to return to the absolute basics so i'd love you to think about your photography is it actually a form of meditation it certainly always has been for me my wife will often say well not often but my wife sometimes says a couple of times a year matt what do you want to do it's been a tough month a tough quarter a tough year what do you want to do to for you and every single time i say i want to go and photograph every single time because another way that photography nurtures us, not only from getting away from it all, not only from submerging ourselves into the landscape, whether it be built or natural, either landscape can inspire. But we're doing one last thing that also nurtures our souls very, very much. And that is we're creating. And as human beings, we absolutely love to create. And if you are out there and you are zen with the moment and then the world opens up and gives you something amazing and then you create something for you which is a masterpiece then again not only do you have the opportunity to be zen but you are creating and creating is such a fulfilling thing for us so the mindfulness of photography to get away from it all to be at one with nature and to be able to create beautiful things. I'm not sure there's anything else that I would ask for from life, really. And that is why I just keep wanting to create. I keep wanting to get out there and see the world. You know, as human beings, we may well be the only sentient life in the universe we don't really know yet and and if that is true then we perhaps are the only beings that appreciate the splendor of what we actually have and with that comes a responsibility to ensure that we look after this place for as long as we can so that our children and our children's children can continue to enjoy i don't think it's a mistake that watching a sunset or a sunrise seeing the waves crashing or a bird flying high in the sky just warms our souls we need to look after it and photographers it's probably no coincidence but photographers are often people who are very aware and in touch and concerned about the environment and that's because we love it so much we love being a part of it yeah we're often environmentalists and that's because we love what we do and we care about it and we want it not to go anywhere. Keep doing that photography. Keep getting out the door. As soon as you can get back out the door, go fill your soul with the sun, the wind, the wildlife, the world, and what both humanity has created as well as what nature has created. It is so fulfilling for our souls and it helps us stay focused and centered. Never never underestimate the healing powers of photography we are mindful people and it helps to keep us centered so if you can get out there as soon as you can get out there to shoot you go ahead and get out there and shoot it's going to be so good for you thank you so everybody as usual thank you so much for being here today it's been so good to see you this has been something that's really important for me to talk about that somehow I've sidestepped through all the gear and everything else. But photography is good for our souls and I would love to hear what photography means to your soul, your zen, your personal balance, and how does it help you with your mindfulness. I'd love to hear that. As always, it's been so good to see you. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Please share, it makes us all smarter please like, and uh, there's over 200 episodes you can watch right now if you click on the Meadow and Photography down the bottom here. All right, I'll see you later.